It's the latest feature of I Know What You Did Last Summer, and I'm joined by women's roller Jillian Early. And Jillian, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So you were in the middle of your season, your first season on our women's rowing team, and the pandemic hit, and you guys had to scramble and get back from Florida. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the spring is canceled. The dreams of going to the NCAAs again uh, are, are off. And then for rowing, it's a little harder because you guys had a trip planned this summer. Yeah. So we are planning on going to the Henley Royal Regatta in England and competing there. We qualified from last season. And so we are all directing our efforts towards training for that to be as successful as we can be. And then we kind of, you know, got derailed because of the pandemic. So I decided to redirect my efforts and my training to be as fast as I can this year. And so I did a combination of ergay, long distance running, so about seven to 10 miles each week, and um, strength training as well to try to prepare myself for this season. So rowing is complex because you'd like to be in a boat with eight others and or seven others and a coxswain, and now you had to focus on the individual aspect of training. So exactly. uh, that must make for some hard runs and some some hard erg workouts. Yes, it was. It took a lot of grit. So now you also had an internship lined up and yes, quickly had to pivot. Talk us through that. So I had an internship in the medical field that I was very excited about, but I ended up unable to do it because of the pandemic again. So I decided to take this time to take two online summer classes to get ahead in my coursework. I took a chemistry class in differential equations, and now I'm actually set to double major, which I'm very excited about and will definitely help me in my career in the long run. Great. And, and how different is taking a class in the summer than it is during the traditional academic year? It's interesting. It's, I'm able to direct my efforts a lot more. So. I was able to really master the material and excel in the tests and performances. Great. And um, you were able to connect with an old passion, so to speak. Uh, talk us through uh, getting involved in um, equestrian, horseback riding, and horse training. Yes. I've been a competitive horseback rider my entire life, and my mother was a horseback rider as well. So during the, when I was away at college, I had to step away from that a little bit. You couldn't bring the horse with you, correct? No, I could not bring my horse with me as much as I would have liked to. So when I came back home for the pandemic, I was able to actually train Mustangs and thoroughbred horses. And so I was able to ride about four horses a day. Oh, wow. Yes. And I was training them and working with them. And it was really great because I was finally able to do what I wanted to do again. So you turned a negative into a positive in that exactly. aspect. It was very memorable and it helped my riding tremendously. And then finally, uh, you were able to uh, work with your sister on a project. Uh, yes. Can you tell us more about that? So my sister and I decided to um, utilize our free time to make dental care packages for at-risk youth and homeless in our community as a way of giving back. So we were able to, like you would with a food bank, assemble toothbrushes, toothpaste, floss, and other dental products and distribute them to our community. Perfect. And uh, is that still ongoing or was that through the summer when you were home? That was during the summer. Great. Great. Well, that sounds like you had a very busy summer. Let's hope. The pandemic uh, can uh, can step back a little bit, and you're not as busy. But uh, it, it seems that you enjoyed all four of the things that you did this yes, summer. Jillian, thanks for jo joining us. And Jillian Early, we now know what you did last summer. Thank you. Thank you.